TNT led early in this one with a couple penalties before the Bajans stormed back to draw level at 6 all. But before the half, TNT would storm ahead again with the informed Jamal Stewart finishing off this bit of sustained pressure from the home team. But the kicking game was way off and the TNT missed the conversion. The men in red would tack on another just before the half as Leon Pantor came to the party crossing the line standing up to give TNT a 16-6 half-time advantage. The Bajans though came out like gangbusters early in the second and tried to put the heat on the home team. But TNT would regroup quickly and again struck after a period of sustained pressure as they were knocking on the door before eventually getting it over the line as Gordon Danglish went over with a quick hit to make it 21 to 6. Again the kicking game let them down badly as they missed all their conversions on the day. That allowed the Bajans to think about a comeback and they went over to cut into that lead to make it 11-21 here. And like TNT, their kicking game also left a lot to be desired and robbed them of two extra points. That aside, the new look TNT outfit had it working against a static Bajan defense and came close here again only for a step out to rule this one out. But TNT would pull off another try as Jamal Stewart doubled up on the afternoon for a 26-11 cushion. And like true warriors, the Bajans would keep fighting and scrapping as they tacked on another to make it 26 to 16. But it was a question of too little on the day for the Bajans as TNT would tack on a couple more tries as Stewart had his third and Samuel Roberts also went over as TNT walked off comfortable winners 36 16 in the end. They will now prepare for a monster clash with the mighty Guyanese who defeated TNT a year ago and are also coming off a big win over the Bajans the last time out.